بسم الله in this video I'm gonna solve Cambridge IGCSE Mathematics paper 2 October November 2022 variant 2 number 1 the diagram shows an isosceles triangle find the value of x side equal side so angle equal angle so this angle 34 now we can find x because the sum of the interior angles of triangle 180 so x equal 180 minus 34 plus 34 equal 112 degrees number two simplify y times 27 minus y times 77 y times 27 this means 27 y y times 77 77 y now if we subtract 27 minus 77 negative 50 so a negative 50 y number three find the sum of 3 bar 2 and negative 3 bar 2 sum of them 0 because 3 bar 2 9 negative 3 bar 2 negative 9 so if we add we get 0 number 4 expand x times 3 plus x squared x times 3 equals 3x x times x power 2 equals x power 3 number 5 Gina buys 2.4 meters of ribbon and 4 point meters of fabric the total cost is 33 dollars and 48 cents ribbon costs 0 0.85 dollars per meter find the cost of one meter of fabric to find the cost of ribbon we need to multiply the number of meters times the cost of one meter so the cost of ribbon is 2.4 times 0 0.85 same to find the cost of fabric we need to multiply the number of meters which is 4.8 times the cost of one meter of fabric which is x because we don't know so plus 4.8 number of meters of fabric times the cost of each meter which is x this equals the total cost which is 33 dollars and 48 cent now we can solve this equation for x 2.4 times 0 0.85 2.04 plus 4.8 times x 4.8 x equal 33.48 now transpose 2 to the other side so 4.8 x equals 33.48 minus 2.04 so 4.8x equals 31.44 divide by 4.8 divide by 4.8 you can find x so x equal 6.55 or six dollars and 55 cent Number 6a, these are the first five terms of the sequence 27, 26, 23, 18, 11. Find the next two terms in the sequence. So you can find the difference 27 to 26 minus 1, 26 to 23 minus 3, 23 to 18 minus 5, 18 to 11 minus 7. So to find the next term, minus 1, minus 3, minus 5, minus 7. So the next term, minus 9. 11 minus 9 equal 2. Next term, minus 11. 2 minus 11, negative 9. Next two terms, 2 and negative 9. Now 6b. The table shows the information about two different sequences. Sequence A. 3, 10, 17, 24, 31. So what is the rule? 
31. So if we add the same number each time, 7 add 7, so the end term 7n. Plus what or minus what? Go one step to the back. Now we need to find the number. If you add 7, you get 3. So 3 minus 7. So negative 4. So this number negative 4. So now the end term 7n minus 4. Or you can use the rule. Or we can use the rule for this type of the sequences. Which is a plus n minus 1 into d. a is the first term which is 3 plus n minus 1 into d the number you add each time which is 7 so if you simplify you get the same answer 7n minus 4 now for the second sequence 2 11 26 47 74 find the first difference 11 minus 2 9 26 minus 11 15 47 minus 26, 21, 74 minus 47, 27. Now, first difference is not constant. Find the second difference. 15 minus 9, 6. 21 minus 15, 6. 27 minus 21 equals 6. So the second difference is constant. So this is a quadratic sequence. For the quadratic sequence, the nth term a n squared plus b n plus c. How to find a and b and c? a equal half the second difference. This is the second difference. So a equal half multiply 6 equal 3. So a equal 3. The second equation you have to know that 3a plus b equal the first difference I mean the first number in the first difference I mean 9 so this is the second difference this is the first number in the first difference so 3a plus b equals the first difference 3a we have a equal 3 so 3 multiplied 3 equal 9 so 9 plus b equal 9 so now b equal 0 The last equation, a plus b plus c equals the first term, which is 2. Now a equals 3, b equals 0, and c, this equals 2. So 3 plus c equals 2, so c equals negative 1. c equals negative 1. Now we can deduce that the nth term, 3 n squared b equals 0 so 0 times n equals 0 and c negative 1 so 3 n squared minus 1 3 n squared minus 1 so the nth term 3 n squared minus 1 and you can check your answer put n equal 1 you get 2 put n equal 2 2 square 4 times 3 12 minus 1 11 and so on put n equal 3 you get 26 Number 7, without using a calculator, work out 5 over 9 minus 1 over 6. 5 over 9 minus 1 over 6. We need same denominator. So we can, the LCD for the denominator, or the number, which is divisible by 9 and 6. The smallest number, which is divisible by 9 and 6, 18. Now you can... Convert 9 to 18 times 2 times 2 and for 6 multiply 3 and multiply 1 by 3 so you have 10 over 18 minus 3 over 18 equals 7 over 18 number 8 that you record the number of hours in a week 8 people spent exercising find the median To find the median, you need to arrange them, then take the middle value. If we have even number, so we have 2 at the middle. 
so you need to add them then divide by two so we need to arrange them first the order 1.5 then 2 2 3 4 4.5 then 5 then 80 now to find the median you can cancel the first with the last this one with that one and 2 with 4.5 now we have 2 at the middle we need to add them then divide by 2 3 plus 4 7 divide by 2 so the median 3.5 B explain why the mean may not be a suitable average to use if you look to the values 1.5, 2, 2, 3, 4, 4.5, 5, then 18. So 18 extreme value. Not a close for all of them, closer to each other, but 18 extreme value. Not a close to them. So because 18 extreme value. 9. The diagram shows three triangles A, B, and C. Which two of the triangles A, B, and C are congruent with each other? For triangle A, we have angle 60 and angle 25 and the side between them 6. Triangle B, we have angle 65, we have angle 60 and angle 25 and we have side 6 but not included between them. For triangle C, we have angle 60 and angle 25 and the side 6 included between them. So A and C congruent because the side included between the same angles. 6 between 25 and 60 and 6 between 25 and 60. So A and C congruent. So A and C. Draw a ring around the congruence criterion that can be used to support your answer to part A. We have two angles and side in between. It's called A S A A S A angle side angle. So A S A. Number ten calculate. So you need to use your calculator to find the answers for A, B, and C. The answer for A three thousand. 456 the answer for B 3 over 4 the answer for C 0 0.25 number 11a the graph y equal x minus 3 times x plus b times x plus 2 intersects the y-axis at negative 30 find the value of b to find the intersection with y-axis put x equal 0 so 0 x equal 0 minus 3 times 0 plus b times 0 plus 2 equal negative 30. 0 minus 3 this negative 3. 0 plus b equal b. 0 plus 2 equal 2. This equals negative 30. Negative 2 multiply 3 negative 6. So negative 6b is negative 30. Divide by negative 6 divide by negative 6. So now b equals 5. b, when x more than 0, the graph cross, crosses the x-axis once. Write down the coordinates for this point. To find the intersection with x-axis, put y equals 0. Now we have y equals x minus 3 times x plus b, which is 5. So x plus 5 times x plus 2. To find the intersection with x-axis, put y equals 0. If y equals 0, we have three solution. This bracket equal 0. This means x equal 3. Or that bracket equal 0. This means x equal negative 5. Or the last bracket equal 0. So x equal negative 2. So we need the solution such that x more than 0. x more than 0. This means x equal 3. Point 0.3 and 0. Number 12, x 
equals 3 power 2 times 5 power 2 times 7 times 199 power 57 when written as a product of its prime factors write x divide 315 as a product of its prime factors we need to factorize 315 first to simplify with x so 315 factorize 315 315 divide 5 63 divide 3 21 divide 3 7 divide 7 1 now when we divide x which is 3 power 2 times 5 power 2 times 7 times 199 power 57 divide by 315 which is 5 times 3 power 2 times 7 this 7 cancelled with 7 and 5 power 2 divide 5 power 1 we have to subtract 3 power 2 cancelled with 3 power 2 so now the answer will be 5 power 2 divide 5 power 1 equals 5 times 199 power 57 13 the table shows the information about the mass of each of 50 children I draw a cumulative frequency diagram to show the, this information to draw the cumulative frequency diagram take the upper and the cumulative frequency so the first point 20 and 0 22 and 7 24 and 23 and so on first point 20 and 0 so 20 and 0 second point 22 and 7 so 22 and 7 24 23 24 23 28 35 28, 35 32, 43 32, Last one, 42, 50, 42 and 50, so 42. Now join them with a small scale. Now use your graph to find an estimate of the 90, 90th percentile. 90 percentile to find the 90 percentile. You have to multiply 90 percent by the total of the frequency. So 90 percent multiply 50, which is 45. Now from 45, from 45, Draw horizontal line till you reach the curve. You can use the ruler. Then go down to find the 90 percentile. 90 percentile between 32 and 36 to 34. So the 90 percentile 34. Number 14. 136 girls and 144 boys. Each measure the distance they jump in centimeters. The box and whisker plots show the distributions of these distances. Each child who jumps a distance greater than 160 gets a certificate. Work out an estimate of the total number of children who get a certificate. So greater than 160 gets a certificate. So for the girls, we have 136 girls and we have 144.
four boys. More than 160 for the girls. Now the line at the middle, this is the median. The median, this is the middle value. So we have 50% to the right and 50% to the left. So, so the median for the girls, 160. So we have 50% more than 160 and 50% less than 160. To find the number of girls who jumps more than 160, so 50% multiply 136. So multiply 136 by 50% to find the number of girls jumps a jump more than 160. For the boys, 160, this the upper quartile, the upper quartile. The upper quartile, we have 25% after the upper quartile and 75% below the upper quartile or before the upper quartile. So this region represented 25%. So to find the number of boys who jump more than 160 for the boys, so 25% multiply the total. So multiply 144 by 25%. 136 times 50%, 68, 144 times 20, 5% equal 36, so we need to add them, 68 plus 36 equals 104. Number 15, the diagram shows a quadrilateral, give a, ge a geometric reason why is this a cyclic quadrilateral? Cyclic quadrilateral, the opposite angles add up to 180. So 95 plus 85, 180. 101 plus 79 equals 180. So this cyclic quad, because each opposite angles add up to 180. For 16, 16a, share the region indicated in each Venn diagram. G intersect, not H. Not H means all the region around H. This region intersect G at what? At that part only. So we can shade this part. This not H intersect G. For uh, next one, J union, not K intersect L. J union K, this means all J and all around K, all around K. We can shade just to help all J and all around K, this all around K, so I need the region which is not K. Union, so just add or add them. So this shaded region represent J union not K. J union not K. Intersect L. This means the common between this region and L. The intersection with L. This region intersect L at that part. The common between this region and L, this one. So, remove all except this part. So, we can remove all except the region included in L. For B, the Venn diagram shows some information about the number of elements in sets A, B, C, and the universal, given that the following information completes the Venn diagram. N means number. N of A intersect B intersect C is 1. So this means the number of elements 
between A and B and C is 1. So this means this region contains one element because this region belongs to A and B and C. This is the intersection between A and B and C. This region contains one element, so we can put one at the middle. Now, n number of A union B union C not equal 17. Not the union, so all the region around the union. This region contains 17 elements, so we can write 17 here. n of C is 42. The number of elements in C is 42. So, 7 plus 1, 8. 8 plus 2, 10. 10 plus what? Equal 42. So, 32. Number 17. Find F negative 3. So, substitute X by negative 3. So, negative 3 all squared, which is 9. B, find G negative 1 of X. So I need to find the inverse for GX. So substitute GX by Y. So Y equal X plus 5 over 2. Now make X is a subject. So 2 times Y, 2Y equals X plus 5. And transpose 5 to the other side by negative. So I have 2Y minus 5 equals X. So the inverse g negative 1 of x equals 2x minus 5. The last step, it change y to x. So 2x minus 5 equals the inverse. 2x minus 5. Now for c, solve gfx equals h, h negative 1, 63, where x more than 0. G F X, so put F in G, so substitute X by X squared, substitute X by X squared, so G F X equals X squared plus 5 over 2. H and H negative 1, each one of them cancel the other, so now you have 63. Now you can solve this equation. Multiply by 2. So x squared plus 5 equals 126. Now 5 go to the other side by negative. So x squared is 126 minus 5, which is 121. Take the square root. So x equal positive or negative, but I need the positive because x more than 0. So the square root of 121 equals 11. Number 18, write 0.419, the recurring decimal, as a fraction in its simplest form. Show all your working. We can consider this recurring decimal, x, so zero, x equal 0 0.1, 0 0.419. 1 and 9 repeated because we have dot above them. So this means 1, 9, 1, 9, 1, 9, and so on. We have two digits repeated, so multiply by 100. So now 100x equals 41.9191919, and so on. Now you subtract. 100x minus 1x is 99x. Now when you subtract this one, so we have 41.9 minus 0 0.4 because the other digit is repeated, so we don't need to write them. We don't need, so it's better to write the decimal point below the decimal point, line them up. So we have 4 and 9, all these digits repeated, so we can cancel them. So 41.9 minus 0 0.4 equals 41 power 5 
now divide by 99 divide by 99 you can get x as a fraction equals 83 over 198 number 19 Kathy picks a number at random from the numbers 2, 3, 5. She then picks a number at random from the numbers 5, 6, 7, 9. When she adds the two numbers, the answer is even. Find the probability that exactly one of the numbers picked is 5. We have two groups of number. The first, 2, 3, and 5. The other group, 5, 6, seven and nine now because it's given to you that the sum is even so we fo we focus about the outcomes such as that sum even so for two two plus five seven two plus six eight so two and six so the first outcome if we start with two if we pick two first so two and six will give you even number so the first outcome, 2 and 6. Second one, 2 and 7 doesn't work, 2 and 9 doesn't work. Now if we start with 3, I need all the possible outcomes such that the sum even because it's given to you that even, this conditional probability. Now 3 and 5 even, 3 and 7 even, 3 and 9 even, so 3, 5, 3, 7, and 3, 9. So 3, 5, 3, 7, and 3, 9. If we start with 5, 5 and 5 even, 5 and 7 even, 5 and 9 even. So 5 and 5, 5 and 7, 5 and 9. So this is all possible outcomes for us one from the first group one and the other from the second group such that the sum even because it's given to you from those how many one of them has exactly one five has exactly one of the two numbers five one two three so we have a three three from seven so we have seven outcomes but exactly one five, so we have three outcomes. One, two, three. So the probability equals three over seven. 20, simplify. 81 x power 16, power three over four, distribute the power. So 81 power three over four into x power 16, power three over four. 81 power 3 over 4 equals 27 and 16 times 3 over 4 equals 12 so x power 12 next one if you have fraction to a negative power you can find the reciprocal for the fraction and make the power positive so you can write as y squared over 1 or y squared power half y squared power half multiply the power so 2 times half so equal y power 1 which is y 21 a solid is made by cutting a small cone from a larger cone as shown in the diagram the height of the larger cone is 12.5 and the height of the solid is 5.5 the height uh, the diameter of the base of the larger cone 9.2 Work out the volume of the solid. To find the volume of the solid, we can find the volume of the larger cone minus volume of the removed one, of the small cone, which is removed. We have the rule, a formula to find the volume of the cone. So 1 over 3 by r squared times height. So we need to find the volume of the larger cone minus the volume of the small cone to find the volume of the solid. But we have a problem for the, small, the smaller cone, we don't have the radius or the height. For the height, we can find the height, 12.5 minus 5.5, which is 7. So the height for the small cone, 7 
ثانی میتر for the radius how to find the radius for the small cone the small cone and the large cone are similar from the matrix they are similar so the ratio between the radius of the small cone to the radius of the large cone is the same like the ratio between the height of the small cone to the height of the large cone so r1 over r2 equals h1 over h2 and from that we can find the radius of the small cone because they are similar so r over have 9.1 which is 4.6 centimeter this is the radius 4.6 so r divide 4.6 equals the height of the small cone which is 7 divide the height for of the large cone which is 12.5 now cross multiply to find the radius so r equal to 0.576 now the volume of the solid equals the volume of the larger cone which is 1 over 3 into pi times r square which is 4.6 square times the height 12.5 minus the volume of the small cone 1 over 3 by r square which is 2.576 squared times the height which is 7 this is the volume of the solid use your calculator from the answer the answer will be 228.34 three significant figure 228 centimeter cube 22 the volumes of the two mathematically similar objects are 56 centimeter cube and 875 centimeter cube the height of the smaller object is 18 find the height of the larger object because they are similar so the ratio between their volumes v1 over v2 equals side 1 power 3 over side 2 power 3 cube the ratio between their sides so volume 156 volume 2 875 equal side 1 for the smaller 18 power 3 the side 2 or the height for the second object is h2 power 3 so we can find that the cross multiply so h2 power 3 equals 875 times 18 power 3 divide 56 equals 91 125 now the height equal cubic root the answer 91125 use your calculator to find the cubic root 45 centimeter 23 solve the equation 4 over x plus 1 plus 2 times 2x minus 5 equal 3 first we need to convert to single fraction these two fraction to single fraction so multiply the denominator x plus 1 times 2x minus 5 then cross multiply to find the numerator so 4 times 2x minus 5 plus 2 times x plus 1 4 times 2x minus 5 plus 2 times x plus 1 and simplify the numerator and the denominator 4 times 2x 8x 4 times negative 5 negative 20 2 times x equal 2x 2 times 1 equals 2 multiply the denominator x times 2x equal 2x squared and the x times negative 5 negative 5x 1 times 2x equal 2x and 1 times negative 5 negative 5 combine the like terms so for the numerator 8x plus 2x we have 10x negative 20 and positive 2 so negative 18 for the denominator we have 2x squared 
and negative 5 positive 2 so negative 3 negative 3x minus 5 now this equal 3 this means 3 over 1 now cross multiply so 3 times 2x squared 3 times 2x squared equals 6x squared 3 times negative 3 negative 9x 3 times negative 5 negative 15 equals 1 times 10x minus 18 equals 10x minus 18 now transpose to get all of them to one side so 6x squared negative 9 minus 10 so negative 19x negative 18 go to the other side by positive so 18 minus 15 which is positive 3 equals 0 now you can solve this equation to find the values of x you can factorize or you can use calculator or you can use the formula in your calculator if you use mode 5 3 you can get x equal 3 and x equal 1 over 6 but i need the working so the bracket 3 go to the other side so x minus 3 and for that 6 times x equals 6x and transpose 1 to the other side by negative so 6x minus 1 this is a 2 bracket so this x minus 3 times 6x minus 1 equal 0 so now we have x equal 3 and x equal 1 over 6